Good afternoon, cult members, and welcome to the Pop Culture Cult. This is Sean, and we're going to do a trailer reaction for a movie that most people probably, A, aren't going to watch, and B, probably aren't going to do a trailer reaction to. However, I'm doing this one because I read up on it this afternoon a little bit, and it's Idris Elba playing an EDM DJ. Now, if you know anything about EDM music and what's going on with the world right now with that, we're getting into uh, the spring, which will bring us Ultra, EDC Las Vegas. The summer we'll have Tomorrowland and Boom Belgium, and it's getting into the festival season. I say that because Idris Alba is a pretty well, uh, a medium line DJ within the trance community. And... Uh, he played Creamfields last year, and he played Coachella last year. And so I, I've been – I listened to a bunch of his stuff. He's really, really good. I listened to a lot of EDM, and uh, I saw that he's doing this movie. Now, I have no concept of what it's going to be about other than the little bit that I read. So I'm interested to see what he's doing with this. Uh, this might be just something that it was a passion project and he just decided to go with it. And so they ran with it and that's where we're at. So we'll see. Here we go. Idris Alba, Turn up Charlie. Go. I want to go to that party. I'm Charlie. I was a massive deal. Oh, 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 Charlie. What are you oh, doing? Keep the noise down. <laughs> what are you doing here? What the fuck are you doing in my room? <laughs> Monies for the electricity king. I've got a gig tonight, okay? Go. Oh, it's a Nigerian wedding. Oh, it's Jamaican or? A man is married to a world class DJ. It's going to be the song of the summer. Farah yeah. wants to talk about a job. Yes! A nanny. You, you want me to be a nanny? Oh. <laughs> hey, David. What's we'll the vibe? You want to come back? Yeah. You're working with Sarah. Yeah. Yeah. She's my nanny. Um, you know what, guys? It was wicked seeing you. I'll see you again. Oh, cold. Wow. I'm sick of having strangers watch my kid. Do you know how long on average it takes me to make a nanny quit? Oh. We're like mates. Uh, that's mean. Kids ain't my thing. You feeling abandoned, too? Yeah. It's a we're gonna collaborate, I want the truth. My parents think that I'm a big music mogul. <laughs> just stack that layer? When you say stack it. Stack that layer. What layer? Come on, just stack that layer. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm fucking stupid? What? You are utterly infatuated with him. Oh, oh mum is fierce. Oh, yes. Oh. Piss and a lemonade. <laughs> What's this? That. Foo foo. That's what I call my vagina. Alright, it's worth it just for the girl. Uh <laughs> March fifteenth. So that's uh two weeks. That's about the average of what how Netflix does you don't count the Cloverfield paradox. Uh, it's about the two weeks they start to do advertising for something that they're, they've they got to drop online. Um, okay. So like what I talked about, this I, feels like a passion project for Idris and having him do a, a, an EDM based movie. Right. And, and if Netflix is throwing everything at the wall right now, then, you know, let's tuck them into giving us $5 million and we go film for two weeks and, and make this movie. And they could be a little more racy with the girl saying vagina and stuff like that. She's what, eight or nine. Um, so, and she was walking around with the vibrator, which was pretty funny. Uh, I've never, I've seen Idris do a ton of different things, but I don't know necessarily know. I don't necessarily know if he's done a straight out just comedy. He has been, he has been comical in stuff, but I never, I don't think I've actually seen him do a straight out comedy. So maybe he's pushing, you know, flexing that muscle and trying it, whatever. But I know how much he loves the EDM music and the culture and everything that it is. He did a great documentary about 
the history and rise of electric dance music, specifically in the UK and Europe, but also dealt with uh, the Detroit sound and uh, the festivals that started in the States with EDC in Los Angeles and, and, and Ultra Music Festival in Miami and how it became a worldwide... Sen- it's, it's a great documentary. If you like documentaries, it's cool. If you like Idris Elba, it's cool. If you like music, it's cool. So it's a really interesting thing to watch. Knowing that he has this passion for it, I, I think I'm going to give this movie more of a pass than if I was going to be much more critical about it because... I know he's just doing it to have fun. And he's not looking for it to... I don't think anybody here is thinking that it's going to be some big bird box kind of hit thing. I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's going to be something that they put on Netflix that they had a really good time doing. They spent 4 or $5 million on it. They might get their money back. I don't know how Netflix works. I won't say they're getting their money back. But it looks like it could be a lot of fun. It kind of makes me feel like um, was it the pacifier with Vin Diesel where he was the like the bodyguard but also like the nanny? Didn't the Rock do that? Do one that like that too? But it kind of has that general feel to it, which is fine. It which is fine. I want to see it for a guy coming up and trying to make it in the dance community knowing that Idris can actually do it. So that's my thoughts on the Turn turn Up Charlie coming up to Netflix. Let us know what you think of this trailer, and have you seen him perform, and are you going to a festival this summer? Let us know in the comments. Like this video. Please subscribe to the channel and help us out on Patreon, all of that, and our social media stuff is in the description down below, down here. Until next time. Good afternoon, cult members.